Angie Schwar is a chorus girl who made good by being in a big Broadway hit for literally years. Now she's stepping into the spotlight with a tailor-made role for her 11th show on the boards, The Prom. I feel like this is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> do you like getting dialed up and do, do I yes. dress up? Yeah. I love people doing it for me. I feel very glamorous. Well, this is like a big moment, though. Like, the proms, it feel like a big moment? I know, that's what I said. I feel like a kid in a candy store. Yeah. I feel very lucky. Yeah. I'm a very, very lucky girl. Since her debut in 1991, Angie Schwer has been one of Broadway's most standout dancers, and her spotlight role in the prom is custom-made for her personality and talents. I play Angie, who's, uh, I'm a chorus girl who's been in Chicago for 20 years, and they've never let me play Roxy Hart. They never let me go on, so I finally quit. And that's where I start at the beginning of the show. Although she hasn't been kicking in the chorus of Chicago herself for two decades, the part of a tried and true Broadway vet hits close to home for sure. When the creators of The Prom were developing the show, they called the character Angie simply because she was so much like Angie. Finally, director-choreographer Casey Nicola told Angie about Angie. We were on the set of Smash, and this was years ago. He was directing an episode, and we were walking to craft services to get a bev. And uh, he said, you know, we're writing this part. We're writing this part, and we call her Angie Schwartz. We call the character Angie Schwartz. So that was many years ago. So do you really think, did I ever really know that that was going to pan out? I mean, this is show business. You never, never, never know. You have and turned my life around entirely. And that's just you have And look what happened to me. So go to prom with me, Kaylee. I grew up in Fort Mitchell, Kentucky, a little town in Kentucky, and I took dance my whole life at the Ziegler's Studio of Dance in Covington, Kentucky. Once a week, a half hour of tap, half hour ballet, half hour jazz, and then I also took acro. So I really was into that. I was a gymnast as a kid. When you were a little girl, were you like that? Were you like the center of attention and, and always like um, yeah. dressing well, up? And... I would do round effect answering back answering down the hall to say hi to people. So I guess so. It's a little bit of a show. And you know, a little bit of a show but I didn't do musicals at all, I was a cheerleader. So I didn't do my first book show until I went to college. My first part was Lois in Kiss Me Kate. I was a showgirl in Atlantic City. I was a showgirl in Japan. I opened up MGM Studios back down at Disney because that's when they started hi hiring taller ladies. And then I came to the Broadway. The Will Rogers Follies was my first show, Tommy Toon. Liked me, Cy Coleman wished I sang better, but they still hired me. <laughs> Always something, right? Then I met Stro, and she likes her tall showgirl girls. You know, that sort of helped snowball my career too, I think, my, my showgirl career. Tony winner Susan Stroman featured Schwar in many of her Broadway hits and gave her her first star turn right here at the St. James Theater in her biggest hit of all, The Producers. Ula Inga Hansen Benson Jonsen, Tollen Holland Sword in Swanson. She sort of was dumb as a fox, you know. It was just a lovable, sweet, vulnerable character to play. So I got to wear a white, where's white? A white leotard, and it was a very glamorous leading lady. I did almost the last four years on Broadway. And I would still be doing it to this day if my body could. <laughs> but those splits, the splits get harder as you get older. Angie Schwarz stayed with the producers for a total of six years, starting in the ensemble and then playing Ula on the road and on Broadway. During her time with the show, her offstage life also became more interesting. I have a husband, he's my second one. And I have two stepchildren that are 22 and 24 now. I raised them from 10 and 12 till now. And I have a grandbaby because my stepdaughter has a one-year-old, Grace. I'm going to have her call me Grangie. She doesn't talk yet, but I'm going to have her call me Grangie. What do you think? Good, right? Schwar married new love Richard Bird and leapt feet first into the role of mom to his two children. You know, they, they lost their mother, so I just took it on. I was like, this, I got this. So we moved out to Chatham, New Jersey for a little while. They went to high school. I, I learned to cook and made dinner, you know, tried to get us all four to sit down. It was the hardest thing I have done my whole life, but very rewarding now. 
Schwar and her husband are back in Manhattan full time, and she remains passionate and positive about her showbiz career. It's harder as you get older. You know, I can't really be in that lineup anymore. But I'm not worried. I never worried about that part. Scrappy Angie just sort of took it as it came. So I'm just going to continue doing that. Eight times a week, Schwer can be seen giving audiences some zazz in the prom at the Long Acre Theater. There's nowhere this true Broadway star would rather be. This is otherworldly. I don't really know how to put it into words because if you would have told that little Kentucky girl that was doing round effect handsprings down the hallway, whew, good. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, if you would have told her, that there was going to be a, a role on Broadway that um, was called Angie. <laughs> Ooh, um, yeah, it's it's quite something.